Hi everyone, so I wanted to do a video on my takeaways from the ultimate event on Saturday and I wanted to I wanted to leave it a couple of days just to kind of allow myself to um, settle in and see what really stuck for me on the day and I've written a list so I don't forget um, but one of the biggest things that I took away was actually from Karen's speech around setting setting kind of goals and targets and making them things that I don't know that I can do I don't know that I can complete you know I think I think it was I think Karen said that if you if you set yourself a target or you have an aim or something that you already know that you can do it's not really an aim it's it's more of a just a task and that kind of really resonated with me um, specifically in terms of physical health, I know that uh, Karen was talking about physical health challenges um, in terms of doing seven marathons in seven days on seven continents. I, I, I'm not envisaging I do that anytime soon. Maybe maybe I will. Um, but but for me, um, I've had a lot of health issues over the last like 10 years or so. And it's very easy me to it's very easy for me to not push myself or not push myself but kind of not um i guess step out of that comfort in terms of oh i know what's good for my health and stuff like that which is which is which is for me is is kind of made up i kind of keep myself in a bit of a box in terms of some physical health things and when i was in the navy i was in the navy reserve for a couple of years it was i remembered it's good to have that kind of aim um or that or that something to aim for and and for me that was always been the best in in in, in my unit uh, at physical health so uh, the phys so that was that was a really good reminder for me for for um, to to kind of have that aim but also a make it something that i i know that i can't do or or not necessarily know that i can't do but not sure whether i can actually do um I think following on from that and, and, and it kind of feeds into the, 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 the advice that Amy said to Steve at one point is be more positive. And what I notice now is that I focus and this is something that I have noticed in the past, but it kind of just when I was writing these notes, actually, it just came out now. And it was around um, in terms of my physical health, like so in the past and even today, my head is a bit fuzzy. So like when my gut is a bit funny, my head can get a bit can get foggy and then I can't necessarily think as well um it's 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 more for me what I saw again is focus on the positive focus kind of like on what I want but not on what I don't want um because inevitably we create what we focus on if I am being positive or focusing on kind of what I want that's how I kind of see being positive then that's what I will create. If I focus on what I don't want, then then obviously that is then what I create. Uh, I think this is this is this, this kind of is uh, this was really cool for me actually on the day when Steve when Steve kind of um, picked out um, or, or gave feedback on being on, on not judging people, and I thought it was pretty cool because married to 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 his example maybe incorrectly but i'm going to use it anyway but married or out of context rather but married to to that i kind of when when he was saying are oh, you arguing with your spouse and then suddenly you answer the door and you can suddenly like turn it off um and be all like totally different mood that kind of resonated for me with with being judgmental on people as well i can i can kind of like let that judgment on people go i can let that judgment on myself go quite easily um i don't have to kind of beat myself up and i don't have to kind of i guess beat other people up as well so i thought that was pretty cool and it was really cool actually not necessarily to push it but kind of just be aware when i was judging people and i think it's something that i have noticed the last couple of days that it has um, increased my uh, awareness of when I am actually judging others and, and, and even myself as well. Uh, another one that I thought was really good was be more active or, or this is something that I have noticed in the past, like I had insomnia for eight to nine years um, and, and my sleep's better now, but 
um, it has been a bit iffy here and there, but when I sleep badly, uh, or if I think I'm going to sleep badly, I'm quite, I'm very good in thinking, oh, tomorrow's going to be rubbish, tomorrow's going to be, I'm going to be tired, it's going to be really hard, um, and actually that's not always been the case. So I, I'm just kind of being very aware to more consciously create um, my day in terms of, it's very simple, like I kind of just, I'm very much aware when I have those thoughts, oh, tomorrow's going to be tiring or, or I'm going to be tired or whatever. And and I kind of just say, oh no, I'm, you know, tomorrow actually is going to be a good day. And I don't, I don't do it like loads of times, but it's just kind of, I've noticed the last few days, I went into London again um, on Sunday and I was just aware that I was thinking, oh, tomorrow I'm going to have fun. I'm going to have a good day today, tomorrow. And uh, lo and behold, I did. So um, that that was a really cool takeaway for me as well. Just kind of increased my awareness of why, of of how I create my days and, and, and being aware of the, I guess, um, inverted commas, negative thoughts or, or, or just thinking something is going to be bad. Um, yeah, so that's, that, that, that's been really useful for me the last couple of days, actually, just being a bit more aware of that. Um, and the, the last one I really got from Amy's, and I have to admit, Amy's, I think Amy's speech touched me the most out of all of them, even though I did get useful, get, get a lot of use out, uh, and value out of all of them. But I think the key takeaway really was just to, just to kind of love more. And yeah, just, I, I don't really think there's anything more to say than, than, than just, just, just love more. And, and, and the final thing is that I, that I only wrote one thing on the board, on, on the notice board or, or, or on the, the board of being, I guess. Um, and that was, I am enough. And, and that was kind of speaking to me at the end of the day. So I, I want to finish this seven minute audio with, with that message that, that, that kind of one of the biggest things that I got. And it's something that I've struggled with a lot in the past, trying to push and push and push because I don't think I'm enough. Um, but yeah, but, but I am enough. So um, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you, well, I hope you enjoyed the event and I hope you enjoyed me talking. Um, I certainly enjoyed talking. So uh, yeah, I hope you have a brilliant day.